Hi students, I'm back with another art video where you will be encouraged to practice gratitude. It's important, especially during this time, to reflect on the things that are small and big that we can be grateful for. So in this video, you will make a gratitude journal. And this activity was inspired by the beautiful story called The Table Where Rich People Sit by Bird Baylor. And the story reminds us to reflect on what brings meaning to our lives. This story is about a family that doesn't have much, but doesn't need much to put a value on their life. The daughter, Mountain Girl, thinks that her parents need to earn more money to be rich, but her father explains that they are actually millionaires. He helps Mountain Girl add up all the special things in her life that are worth much more than money could buy her. Today, you will make a gratitude journal for the next five days. For each day in your journal, you will pick a page to reflect and notice all the things that you're grateful for. By the end of the five days, you will have a full journal of things that you're grateful for and hopefully a full heart of gratefulness. To help you begin, thinking about what you are grateful for, I have put together a list of questions you can ask yourself as you do more soul searching. You can look at these questions every day if you feel stuck or until it begins to get easier to look for things that you're grateful for. Here is how you will start your journal. The first thing you will need is three pieces of paper. The second thing you will need is a stapler, to bind your pages together or if you don't have a stapler you can use tape and I will show you how to do this. Third, you will need all of your coloring materials and you can use whatever you have. First step, begin with stacking your three papers together on top of each other. Second, you will fold the three papers in half, hamburger style, to make a crease for your book. Third step, if you have a stapler, you will take your stapler to the center of your fold and staple your fold in three places. If you have tape, you will tape two pages at a time together, taping the first and second page together at the folded line and then taping the second and the third page together at the folded line. You will skip the center fold because these two pages are connected already and move to the next page to tape. You will also want to make a cover page for your gratitude journal. Remember that we are all different artists. So that also means that our levels of practice in art are also different. So don't be discouraged to create and draw when you see my art because I have had many years of practice and so will you. You will continue to grow in your skills as you spend more time creating. You will see that you have your own style of drawing and using color. So remember to give yourself grace, be patient with yourself and give yourself space to grow. Lastly, you will spend about 10 minutes or however you want to take in your day to fill one page of your journal with things you notice you are grateful for. Now you can do this in the beginning, middle, or end of your day whatever moment of the day this activity best fits.
Thanks so much for watching this video today. Enjoy the process of practicing gratitude. Sometimes we forget the smallest things in life can bring us joy. So I hope this is an encouraging start to looking at your life through a lens of gratitude. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.